This video continues with linear programming. In the previous video, we looked at how to solve linear programming problems using graphs. Now, we're going to look at what happens if the solution we get isn't a viable solution because it's not an integer solution. And for a lot of these problems, we have to get an integer solution. This example here, we can see we've got our feasible region. It's a polygon. In fact, it's a pentagon, isn't it, with five vertices. We know we're trying to maximize that our optimum solution will be one of these vertices. We can have a pretty good look and think about, well, which one's liable to be the optimum. Well, B has got a higher Y value and a higher x value than a, so b would definitely take precedence over a. Clearly it's not the origin. d has a higher x value than b, but c has a higher x value and a higher y value than d. So it has to be at either b or c. It turns out that the solution lies at vertex b. But we can see here that the solution involves an x value of 3.8, a y value of 7.4, and a maximum of 59.4. Now, it's important in this particular problem that the constraints have to involve x and y values that are integers. So it's not possible to have x and y values that aren't integers. So we need to look at how we can get an integer solution based around the optimum we found. One of the methods for doing this is to box the vertex in. Here's the vertex here. If we now look at all of the integer coordinates in the box that it lies in, we can then see if any of these provide us with a better solution. Now we can clearly see here that two of those solutions aren't in the feasible region. These two are, but this one here has the same y value as this one and a lower x value. And as we're trying to maximize 2x plus 7y, that means this solution here must provide a better solution. So if we take this one here, it becomes x4, y7, and it provides us with a value of 57. Notice that this isn't as good as the previous value that we got at our optimum solution, and it won't be because this is the optimum. However, this does provide a solution that works, and so we would have to go with this one. It's generally far too complicated to find all of the integer solutions possible and to make sure that you've got the optimum one. We'll look into this a little bit more during the lesson. But for now, we'll just look at this as a method for finding an integer solution. And that is to look at the vertices near the optimal solution. This will usually provide the best integer solution. <coughs> 